Hello there, Taurus, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well. And Taurus, in case you don't know how it works on this channel, is that I channel out whatever spirit wants me to for however long, and it is for you, so I do hope you enjoy this and it resonates for the most part. If it doesn't, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs. I want to get more with this Ten of Pentacles, or feel, or feel free to check out past messages, or it just may not be your reading, but hopefully it is. Hmm. <laughs> Give me more with this Ten of Pentacles. You're leaving the stresses behind. You're leaving the, the hardships behind. Maybe even a time of feeling a lack of. Maybe we did experience some type of financial hardship, family hardship. You know, you are moving on. You're seeking more from life. And guess what? It's going to be worth it. If you've been wondering and questioning whether you should move on from a situation, yes. Look where you're going towards, the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, but I'm getting more with this Ten of Pentacles as well. Yeah, see, something very secure for yourself. Whoa. And in fact, yeah, you know, if... <clears throat> If you're seeking out a partnership, love, or something traditional or maybe non-traditional uh, that maybe you make your own and pass down, well, you've got it. You know, whoa, we got something strong about managing your resources wisely. See, some of you, take it if it resonates, you know, whatever we've been feeling, some type of unfulfillment, maybe there has been stress, worry, whatever has gone on. You can be assured that as you move on to better things, because that's what you're doing, and as you're doing this journey, as you're realizing to manage your time, your money right now, your emotions as well, I feel that these cups are like emotions. These old, worn out, heavy emotions are what you are leaving behind. And the grass, <laughs> in your case, the grass truly is greener on the other side. You know, I'm just noticing the grass here <laughs> as this person is opening up that door. And look at the beautiful grass here. <clears throat> and look where it's leading. Financial security for yourself, your family, or future family, whatever you resonate with. There could be some type of inheritance or long-term, you know, savings for your retirement especially with the four of pentacles because that is a time where you know we could be in this case this four of pentacles is really someone who is choosing wisely they've saved up and they've earned the reward from saving up so save your time save your time where you can right now Save your energy where you can right now. Put yourself first if you haven't lately. We we're talking about your money. Yeah, your time, your emotions, all of that. Peace and contentment in your life. Honoring family traditions. Pride in the family tree and passing on knowledge. And look what this came out with. It was the four of pentacles with the lovers here. So there is something about making wise choices. Some of you, Taurus, because it is a general reading, you either, you know, have done this recently or a while ago, <clears throat> and, you know, you are having to use great patience. Now, some of you, you're, you know, there's this energy where uh, soon you will be taking off. You're, you're going to be leaving what's unwanted anyways behind. We got eight of cups with uh, ten of pentacles, so... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is associated with that. Also, Gemini is coming through with the lovers. <laughs> Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Yeah, this is long-lasting. I feel that this is <clears throat> some sense of security here. Making choices from the heart, vibrant health, or recovery from an illness, or some type of hardship. Now, the way to do this, Taurus, is to, you know, discern wisely right now. Save your emotions. <laughs> Save your time. Well, you know, give freely those emotions that are, you know, uh, not so heavy, makes you feel good, right? 
but you also need to, you know, take some time out for yourself, I feel, as well. So let's continue and see what else is going on. This is really weird. Why am I seeing something <clears throat> about role playing here? What in the, what's this whole thing? <clears throat> there could be something as acting as if. What's this thing I'm getting about role playing? May oh, you're playing a different role. <laughs> oh, this is, <clears throat> yeah, this has been in your energy for a little while here. It's happening. Trust it. You're going to be playing a different role in life. Embrace true love for yourself, right? Give to yourself what you need and watch everything else happen for you. Give me more too. Let's just get more about that role play playing a different role. See, you're letting something go here. You are freeing yourself. You could possibly be freeing others as well. So the illusion of being trapped, accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness. There could be something here <clears throat> about letting go of addictions or unhealthy habits, but most importantly, you are in a place of liberation here. So maybe... For some, if it's been hard to choose what you want to cut out of your life or <clears throat> maybe if there's something that just, you know, needs to be seen, just act as if, you know, your life or your lifestyle is as it, you know, how you want it to just act as if it's really here right now. And, you know, you can take that with, you know, what things that, what do you feel maybe trapped by? Because those things, when you start to role play and be in a different role in life, you will start to see that you have been far more worth than maybe some of you have felt or maybe others have made you feel in some way. Capricorn's coming through with the ego card. And also act as if too, because some of you, there may be something here with not having so much energy or confidence to take charge of a situation. See it in your mind's eye first and then feel it in your heart and then allow nature to take its course. You will just be automatically inspired to take action. And it's like, you know, this role play it's like not being, you know, here you are being the savior and not the victim. How about that? Okay, what else for Taurus? I'm, I'm also noticing a lot of green, and green to me is associated with... <clears throat> healing, vibrancy, you know, nature, love, Archangel Raphael. Okay, balance, blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary, successful compromise, and the power of diversity, self-control. Yeah, we are doing something with self-control, patience, and balance here. So it's only a matter of time. In the meantime, look what you're doing. You're building yourself. You're building your, your reputation or you're doing something that you love. You're creating success in your life. So don't get too discouraged or obsessed by immediate appearances, Taurus. Doing what you love, recognition for the highest quality work, especially creative endeavors. Actually, Taurus, give into, you know, projects or create uh, creative endeavors right now or new visions, okay? You never know where they could lead. Uh, being paid well for your craft. Oh, that's awesome because, you know, this balance card is temperance and to me that is like some type of crafting that's happening because we are learning more moderation allowing things to unfold and utilizing all things so spirit is saying if you can manage just being uh, easy on yourself and easy with others you're gonna have a lot more freedom and success and I do see you sculpting a new vision or a dream for yourself and you're almost done you're almost done because I feel 
this this sculpture, this statue is almost complete. So you may want to pay attention to detail as well. Don't, don't feel that you need to rush your craft or your work or your studies or anything right now. Because if you do rush it, you may get disappointed about the results. You're going to be better off taking it a little slow, okay? And I do feel that heaven is just reminding you, sorry about that squeaky noise, I'm using a new microphone. Anyhow, a new setup here too. Uh, heaven is sending you a people or situations ideas to really start creating something or to keep help or to help continue for some of you what you already have been creating. Now some you're coming into something new here, but we do have the right energies here for you. See, this is why don't give in to something or someone right now if you feel that it could be some type of trap. In fact, I take it if it resonates, okay? I would say, Taurus, for right now, avoid unnecessary debt, okay? Uh, you know, like lavish spending or, you know, something that's not going to be a good long-term investment. So avoid unnecessary debt for right now because um, I, just, I just need to say that for some of you. You're going to have plenty any, anyways, and you're not going to have to put something on charge or credit or whatever. Okay, let's see. What else? Because you're building, you're building yourself some type of financial <coughs> gain in life here. And a family or some type of ideal, you know, situation where we do feel financially secure, where we feel very comfortable. Yeah, Spirit is saying you're going to feel ultimate comfort soon. <clears throat> the heart of the matter. Taurus, remember when I said there's more, or what did I say? Uh, don't be discouraged by immediate appearances. There's more going on than meets the eye. You may need to take a rest. You may need to just take it easy. Don't push yourself too hard if it's not necessary. Angels and the heavens are helping you. Let's get more with this as well. Let's get more with this heart of the matter. Let's find out what spirit will give us with there's more going on than meets the eye. Wow, see? Wow, wow, wow. Okay, Taurus, seriously, something really good is happening here. <clears throat> a windfall of abundance. You got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the Six of Pentacles. You even have Four of Pentacles. This is all about, you know, uh, stabilizing oneself. Ah, oh, see? You're doing really good. For the most part that I can see, a lot of you are doing really good with your resources or you're figuring it out. Just don't stress about it, okay? Uh, because you do have good fortune. Uh, there's possibly someone that will give you some type of wise counsel as well. Now, if, if some of you have been seeking something exciting with your career, you could be having opportunity with that or find yourself landing you know, some type of major purchase that is worth, you know, taking on like a house or a vehicle because it's helping you stay comfortable and get around in life, which adds value. That's what I see. Ace of Pentacles is a good, fortunate beginning. It is true and real, so it will be very important to not get too fooled or deceived by immediate appearances because that's what the ego likes to, you know, notice all the time. Okay, so let's see what else for Taurus. Sorry about that squeaky. <laughs> okay, I'm probably have to do that, what, WD40 or whatever. Okay. <clears throat> 
or just maybe some oil <laughs> miracles and blessings everything has its gift oh my goodness yeah there is something here where we have to find a gift in some type of struggle or hardship let's see what spirit will give us with this i mean you do have the ten of pentacles and you do have that lover's card too i mean you got a lot of good cards you know the e uh, the devil card the ego maybe the eight of cups but that's not that's not anything unusual or nor unnormal to have to you know battle here let's get more with the miracles and blessings everything has its gift what is the gift for taurus or whatever spirit wants to give us with this <laughs> oh yeah releasing the old and rest oh see i feel like you really do need to find ways to encourage yourself to rest so that you can heal too releasing the old and getting that rest because guess what you're gonna feel ultimate comfort soon to just act as if and know you're playing a different role okay you're gonna be on charge of things you'll be the one feeling very independent or strong and wise with your time your money <laughs> you know your emotions here what else for Taurus be the light no matter what see this is you <laughs> and Archangel Michael is also encouraging you to stand in your truth regardless of what you know others are doing or what they want to get stuck into that's okay okay that's their choice and this is really signifying how powerful you are how powerful your light is no matter what kind of darkness you know, tries to discourage you or, you know, tempt you in some way, you're too powerful. So just stand in this light no matter what, because that's really what you are. You're an illuminator. What else? And I was getting that thing about you helping others or something like that. I was saying something like that. Right, Zeus? <laughs> be open to healing information and we have ignite your passion see we're talking about you taking some time to heal right and it's important to because there is some type of new beginning with passions or finding a new passion or reigniting a passion especially if we've been you know tired of something but you just never know there's some type of fulfillment. I get like Ace of Cups with this medicine guardian. Be open to some type of healing information, even if it does sound weird or challenging. Okay, just, it, just see where it can take you. Because there may be something that you're exploring too with the healing arts. What else? But you are, you know, for the most part, Taurus, I feel that you're doing exactly what you're being guided to do you're you're allowing some type of natural fire natural passion to to really take over oh look at that the shalom master be graceful in movement and action this is like this balanced temperance you know you don't have to go fast in fact every moment of your life is like a meditation <laughs> you know just like this praying mantis goes very slow but it eventually captures their food so yeah this there's something about you being able to be alert be aware be unbothered and just be in the present moment you have mastered something or you're in the process of mastering some important skill Somebody may cross your path too, I feel, that's going to ignite a new passion or vision and it will be exciting for you. And look at this. You know what I'm noticing? Look at that pentacle that you see. This is, uh, okay. Remember, don't be fooled by immediate appearances, the heart of the matter. This uh, pentacle that ace of pentacles okay i know you don't see it this is 
not a traditional tarot, but this is Ace of Pentacles. Just because you're standing in this light and being unbothered, you're manifesting miracles and blessings in true form, solid form. Some of you have already done this. You might just be having to get used to a new life, role, lifestyle, you know, whatever. Okay, what else for Taurus? <clears throat> the angels are among you, Taurus. I guess you need to hear that. Maybe you're feeling alone. Be devoted and committed. We got the sage. Yeah, wait for important information. You, you know, this is the oracle. So look at you with your cute uh, <laughs> quill, uh, peacock feather quill pen or whatever. Okay, so notice, you know, the sage is out there taking notes, taking things slow, noticing different things, writing things down. Spirit, God, your ancestors are giving you answers and guidance to hold a space, a truth, a light, a vision of yours, and to feel comfortable and confident. Maybe there's something about grounding yourself as well. Um, I, I, definitely see, I definitely see this elder that you connect with on the spiritual realm that helps guide you. <laughs> so connect. They're listening. What else? And there may be something here with burning sage for some of you. Oh, intend and create. Yeah, you, you're a powerful creator here. There's something going on um, with the heavens and you and creating and manifesting some type of new divine energy that wants to be birthed. So you are being backed up by the spiritual realms, by the, your ancestors from the other side. Heaven, you know, come on. High priest here, intend and create. So what do you want Taurus to intend and create here? The life that you want, the lifestyle that you want, Taurus. Do it or feel it and be it now. And remember, be unbothered. You're powerful. Be unbothered by immediate appearances. This is divine masculine uh, energy, too. And look, we even have another divine masculine with the king of swords here. So intelligent and partial. See, I told you, be unbothered. Be unbothered and wait for important information because you will get all of the information you need. You may need to remain objective, too, when it comes to someone. It could be a strong masculine energy coming towards you or that you're currently dealing with. You just need to be fair-minded, okay, and trust your ability for public speaking. Because some of you, you know, you're intending and creating some type of position, or a higher position or a position in life. You could also be intending to write a book, a story, being a communicator, what a, you know, whatever. Okay, so communicate clearly. Uh, okay, and also we have, you know, the King of Swords is definitely a energy where we're not going to be emotionally available for anything, uh, you know, because we have to remain objective and impartial. We have to be fair-minded for ourselves and all involved. This is how you create great fortune anyways, OK, uh, because you've blasted something here when it comes to not listening to illusions, things that could make you feel trapped or fearful. Be unbothered and just intend what you want, because God, Jesus, your ancestors are backing you up and they're going to help you. What else? <clears throat> Do you hear, okay, i hearing like you have guides on the other side, but the way that they were saying it was like a whisper. You have guides on the other side. Like, I wonder if you hear that, like whispers or something like that. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon, um, but there is going to be, see, this new passion here. Okay, so you're parting ways or you have parted, but then you're coming together here 
and it, it's going to make your heart sing. It's going to make your soul sing. You're going to be like vibrating at a higher frequency because you're going to feel it. It's going to be electrifying here. Okay. So let's get something though with the separation. I sense three of swords here. Let's get more with this uh, separation for Taurus, please. Taurus, it's gonna, it will be important to try to um, be easy, you know, about longing because it, it's already here. You're in a new place right now. Okay, so your love life is being affected by children. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot going on. There could be children. Uh, there could be something just new in one's life here. Uh, or there could be children that, you know, get involved here when it comes to coming together. This person possibly could have fire sign. I mean, they could be any sign, but they possibly could have fire sign. What else? <clears throat> Set your sights higher. Don't be fooled by something or someone either here, okay? I feel like you d you dealt with somebody with a, or deal with people that have just big ass egos. I don't know, just, oh my God, anyhow. Trust your talents in challenging times. Set your sights higher. <laughs> somebody can't take a no. Like, I don't, okay, take that if it resonates. Like, somebody just can't take a no for an answer. It's like, it, again, just detach yourself from, you know, feeling bad. You don't need to feel bad. But you do need to trust your talents in challenging times. And when you are standing in that light of truth and knowing, no matter what's going on, that you are a guiding light, and the heavens above, your star sisters and brothers from above, they're going to gift you something here. So stay focused. And then, there, you know, with this fox spirit, there's some type of energy. And with that passion, which I see as ace of wands, there's something that's going to require like immediate action. Okay. So right now you're waiting for that important information. And I feel that you're, uh, they're going to give you something about, helping you see something or stay calm about something or whatever, or, or vision. Maybe there is something here too with stargazing uh, Taurus that would be really healing and good for the soul. What else? There could be, oh, and fire, make, maybe looking at fire, you know, just for the ambiance. See, I told you. What did I just tell you? <laughs> Star sisters and brothers, ancestors. <laughs> I love it. Honor your inner knowing because you are medicine man, medicine woman. Or, you know, you are being surrounded by many ancient, powerful ones. Okay. But I don't see how you can't not be <laughs> medicine man, medicine woman here. Follow the voice of your soul. It's guiding you right. You're so powerful. Like you do see and feel and know when something is not right, if it's off, or if it does come from some type of fear or ego place. Okay. This is you. So, you know, whether you're male or female, medicine, mother, father, or whatever, okay, you are doing just that, moving away from so anything that you can, that you feel is going to drown you not fulfill you. What else for Taurus? Stay rooted and grounded. That's interesting because uh, I was noticing the tree and I really sense that. So, you know, figure out how you can stay rooted and grounded there, you know, placing your hand on your heart. Maybe there's a special staff. Maybe there's a special place out in nature. Maybe there's a special place in your house, uh, a meal. Whatever it is that you can do, just know that the, the stronger you, you know, the, the more, I, I guess, the more focus and the more you give in to grounding your energy. Because I feel you've been up in your head a lot. You're going to feel a lot more um, in control, right? Now, some of you, you already are in control. So continue to stay grounded and rooted. 
knowing where your real roots come from, okay? <clears throat> the heavens above. What else? Okay, something's going on. Hold on. Okay, what's going on with the um, king of swords here? What's going on with the King of Swords? I'm noticing the spiral too. Look, enjoy success and happiness. Because you are that intelligent. You are in control. And also when it comes to, you know, making the right choice in business, love, or whatever that's important, you're going to have success you're going to be exposed to something that is right, that is bright and healthy and good. Good for you. I mean, come on, Taurus. Yeah. And if you notice, this is uh, also the Ten of Pentacles is connected to, oh, no, that's not the Sun card. That would be 19. But this is uh, connected to the World card, achievement, success, you know, feeling completion, or feeling that we've completed a major phase in one's life and you're coming into a time of plentiful. That's beautiful. What else? Stay optimistic about your love life. Look at, look at, I know you might not be because I feel like maybe your face is kind of doing like that. It's <laughs> just like, mm. but don't worry, okay? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance or a rekindling of romance or whatever you need. What else? Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. This card reminds me of the star card in tarot. So uh, that's associated with Aquarius. And it really is a bright future for you. Just continue to have patience. You even have the temperance, the balance card, which is another card of patience. This is a time to do things that rejuvenate your mind, your spirit. And I do, okay, Taurus, this is so cute. You are, you already, you've already come through. <laughs> you are a, okay, so really, you're a toddler right now in some type of new phase in your life. Just think of it that way, okay? And you are being cared for. You are a precious star being from the heavens. So I just have patience. Practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. So it might, you know, we might just need to give love and light, even, even in the midst of, you know, oppositions or challenges or maybe negative energies, right? Maybe just send them love and light. Just keep continuing to practice compassion because when you do that, you're igniting something within your heart chakra, which is very powerful, which brings a lot of healing and some type of great fulfillment. Okay, what else for Taurus? It's time to disconnect from the world. Look at that. You've had enough of something. You know, what do we got to do to disconnect? What do we got to do to retreat and rest and not push so hard? Let's get more with retreat to for Taurus. Yeah, it's going to be your soulmate. So you guys might, you might be with someone right now or it's going to happen soon here. You're going to be able to have time with one another. And yes, this is your soulmate, or you need to trust a soulmate is coming, so just relax. 
just notice how the red light, I, you know, I always see that red light anyways for my camera, but I was just noticing like, bam, that is your soulmate. It's like the target bullseye. Boom, you, see, you know what I'm saying, guys, right? You see that red light. There it is. <laughs> anyways. Okay. What else for Taurus? Bullseye. It's the one. I knew it. Look, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings or just watch and wait. There's a new love here, okay? It's going to stir your romantic feelings. You deserve it. Be open. This is why you're practicing compassion because then you're going to be really in sync with this new love sooner than you think. What else? And that's more with the uh, Ace of Cups. Now, this is challenging, Taurus. It's, it's hard for you to wait. Remember, we were talking about that with that Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> you know, it's worth saving your money, your energy, your emotions. See, there's something going on here. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this. There's something about this unrequited love here, divine timing, because divine timing is at work in your love life. Yeah, don't be fooled by something or someone here. Oh, and free yourself. Okay, there's more. There's like a strong energy that's coming out here with this free yourself. And, and see, you are freeing yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. We might be having, we might still be hung up on something where we, we felt denied or we felt troubled by Maybe we even maybe we felt rejected or some of you guys are trying to reject someone because I kept getting this thing like someone's not taking no for an answer. <laughs> okay, let's see. Free yourself. Let's get more about free yourself. <clears throat> yeah, free yourself from engaging with situations. Okay, okay, because remember, Taurus, we're talking about this whole thing. So, you know, know and know and see your worth, okay? Because this is like this whole thing about you playing a different role in life. You know, don't don't settle for less than you really deserve. If if it's not there, it's not there. Okay? If it if it ain't enough, it ain't enough. You're coming into kingdom connections. K kingdom lifestyle. Two of cups. Oh my god, see? There's something about you not being in, not being in a situation where we have no reciprocity. So it's time to take control of your life because you're going to be falling in love or getting ready for the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness and the, uh, forgiveness and the ending of challenges, of course, because look at this, the sun enjoys success and happiness, exchanging gifts. I was just talking about this thing of reciprocity. To me, this is like six of pentacles in reverse with this unrequited love where we felt shortchanged or vice versa. There just wasn't enough to keep something just going here. Couldn't stoke the fire. Don't give up on people you do love, but also, you know, true love is free love, right? So to really love is to let go. And whatever and whoever sticks around or shows up, that's your true love. Not the one that you have to try to force, mend, mold, shape. So much hard work. Or you felt like you had to mold and mend and shape your damn self and you got sick of it. Right? You got so tired of it. You just said, forget this. It's not, my, not for me. Gotta go. I am this. I am this light. What else? So it is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You will not be denied. Don't give something up freely either. I'm hearing something about not giving up something freely, Taurus. So take it how that resonates. Oh my God, Ace of Swords, nice brilliant ideas that may need refinement. So we do need to have a little bit more uh, concentration here possibly, but you do have a breakthrough. You do have some type of 
clarity, new way, a solution, or, or, or some type of overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and concise, concisively, but remain objective. And I see that too for a lot of you. You're going to be in a position where you're going to have some type of, you know, communication here. Because I feel that you are going to have the final say in something. Okay, what else for Taurus? Physical touch, a tender touch can mean so much. <laughs> Take a chance on love. So you need to open yourself up to love. You may resonate with the last SOS reading. There will be one coming out tomorrow, but whenever you get this video and it resonates for you, then it's meant for you. Just mentioning this, okay? So when we love, our lives are changed forever. Take a chance on love because somebody wants to give you a physical touch here, okay? And you deserve to feel alive, to be romance to feel good, not that you need another to do that, right? But there is something coming alive. So when the opportunity presents itself, <laughs> take a chance on love. Okay, what else for Taurus? Yeah, it's, okay, love who you are. It's lead, because it is leading you to great success here. This is why it flourishes and everything else flourishes. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Keep telling yourself that. Keep honoring what you truly deserve. You deserve the best. So continue to love who you are exactly where you are. And know that you are definitely a beauty of light. You know, I just heard that <laughs> God trusts you. Your ancestors trust you. Your angelic guardian angels trust you. Trust yourself. What else? Oh, okay. Wow, Queen of Cups. Ooh, this, this is important. I'm going to bring this up. Take it if it resonates. Caring for others but forgetting to take care of yourself. Now, if you have been doing too much of that, you got to take a step back, okay? Or we may need to just take a step back if we are being too burdensome on someone else, right? We don't want to be, and I'm only going to say this if it resonates, but, you know, we don't want to be like, emotionally like vomiting on anybody but I don't see a lot of you guys doing that uh, because I know a lot of you are actually the ones that get a lot of um, you know people coming to you <laughs> dumping their problems onto you but anyhow we've got the queen of cups there is a situation that you can trust here so loving a compassionate psychic self-sacrificing deep psychic insights and you know that you're getting that because look you are receiving important information from the spiritual realm here. There could be something with being by water, you know, taking a little retreat by water if you can. Trust your intuition, a deep love of family and friends, so follow your heart because I see you surrounded by your family and your friends. And it's what your heart wants and it's what your heart is going to get. What else? That's it. Okay. So, Taurus, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. Oop. What does Taurus have to look forward to in the near future? Nearest future. Man, weird. That was weird. The nearest future, something about the nearest future. Okay, look at this. The sun card is coming out twice. And you have a card of retreat, rest, insights, healing, a time of great joy and success. Okay, this is in the near future. 
oh, like the nearest future. I, I, that doesn't make any sense, but um, I guess what they're trying to say, it's like n a lot more near than you think it is. A time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly. Hello. Just give gratitude to, to the divine here. Because you are and you will sustain some type of great achievement, success, vitality, or health. Insights that come from meditation, the need to rest or take a vacation. Oh my gosh, you could be taking a vacation somewhere sunny here for some of you, okay? But you are going to give yourself some type of mental um, break here. Allow yourself more time before making a decision. You, you, that's kind of this whole thing is taking your time before making a decision because some of you, you could be mentally exhausted or you may need to watch out for that. Don't, you know, give yourself, you know, too much to think about. Give yourself some room to breathe. Get more sleep if you need it. Take naps if you need, okay? Do what your body is just telling you. Just give in and don't quit. Okay, let's find out how spirit is currently helping you, Taurus. I know that, I know they're bringing you peace. We know this, and they're saying it again, Taurus. So let's find out, see, how heaven, God, Jesus, Whatever you believe in, a higher power, okay? Father Sky, trust in the unknown. You are being taken care of. Just stand in your own light and truth. If something doesn't feel right or feel good or makes you feel like you are lowering your standards, to, you know, or, or anything like that, don't do it. You don't have to. Take your time and give it up to God, Jesus, Father Sky. Ooh, a breakthrough is about to happen here. Taurus, watch and wait. Love and light.